Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Today, I feel like the word that God has for us today is a simple, very practical, but I think powerful word out of um, the Proverbs that applies for today and really for any day. Um, Solomon wrote this, a very, very simple verse, uh, Proverbs 19, 21. He said, you can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Let me read it again. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. So what he's saying is that there's a difference. There's a difference between the plans of humanity and the purpose of divinity, the purpose of God. And as we approach any day, or as we come into any day, it's really important, I think, for us to understand that difference. Because as it says, we have many of our own plans, but it's not our plans at the end of the day that are going to win out or prevail. Not for the follower of Jesus, because we've been called to live a higher purpose than merely human endeavor and fulfilling our own will for our lives. Let me read it in the message version. It says, we humans keep brainstorming options and plans, <laughs> but God's purpose prevails. And indeed it's true. You know, in any given day, I love brainstorming, don't you? I mean, I love, I can wear myself out and the people around me with brainstorming my own options and ideas. <laughs> Um, but again, at the end of the day, what's going to prevail in terms of God's eternal purpose for my life and what he wants to do through my life is not my plan for my life. It's his purpose for my life. And so there's a transition, I think, every single day or an exchange that God calls us to make, which is where we, we recognize this tendency to pursue our own plan and be passionate about our own plan and make an exchange that his purpose rather than our plan would become the passion of our life. Um, let me read it again. I read it in a couple more translations before we pray. Uh, another translation says, many plans are in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord will stand. So the purpose of the Lord uh, is also his counsel. God wants to give you his counsel today. That's a great promise and a great way of looking at this, I think, that he does have a purpose. Sometimes his purpose seems so, you know, so outside us. But the truth is, is that God has given you, the Bible says, everything that pertains to life and godliness. He has planted his word within you, and his purpose is something you've been called to. Ephesians 2.10 says, before the foundation of the world. And so um, there's counsel that he'll give you the counsel. He'll give you the wisdom to fulfill his purpose. And then finally, let me read it in the Passion Translation. A person may have many ideas concerning God's plan for his life, but only, this is a great phrase, only the designs of God's purpose will succeed in the end. So now we're talking about success. Everybody wants to be successful. God wants you to be successful today in what he's called you to do. And so what's the key to your success today or any day? Well, it's tapping into the designs of God's purpose. God in his creative genius of design has designed a purpose that's perfectly fitting for what he's called you to do and who he's called you to be. And so that's my prayer for us today, South Lake family, is that we would make that exchange of our own plans for his purpose and in doing that, we would uh, find a passion in our life in fulfilling his purpose that would be a very part of what we have been created for before the foundation of the world. Let me pray. Lord, today we do just make that exchange, the great exchange of our life for yours. Um, we now, Lord, intentionally want to surrender our plan for this day for your purpose. Would you fill us with your counsel? Give us wisdom as we go step by step through this day in following you, Jesus Christ. And give us a passion, Lord, that's beyond our own plan, but for your purpose for our life. Help us to tap into that which is eternal today, not just temporal, and that for which we've been called to express 
and to experience before the foundation of the world in your will for our lives in Christ. So we commit it all to you. Thank you for providing for us, our families, our church family. Thank you for protecting us, directing us all. And we'll give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you in the morning.